Hello! Just recently my friend Ryan and I we attended a Comic Con in Wilmington so it was Coastal Comic Con and uh, how do you think people reacted my outfits with Shavanka, traditional Ukrainian clothes? <laughs> convention or comic con is a fan convention with a primary focus on comic books comic book culture in which comic book fans gather to meet creators experts and each other people wear different awesome costumes uh, representing japanese culture pop culture comics sci-fi video games and movies these are the people you meet there and I love it. I love being able to express yourself, combine some costume. There's something you're passionate about and you meet other people. Well, basically it's my autobiography and abstract. It's everything that's, uh, that inspired me since I was a kid to now. I've always been unapologetically into pop culture. Yeah. I was picked on, I was teased, bullied. I did not care. I was yeah. in change with who I was. And so a couple of years ago I had a fever dream. Didn't realize what I was doing at first, but every piece has a story. Okay. When it comes to issue music. So, so you have I am the Doctor. Do you have a story behind that one? Oh yeah, it's Doctor Who. Yes. Um, no, I, I've always known what Doctor Who is. Okay. I don't know who my first Doctor was. I don't know where it started. But ever since I was a baby to now, I know who Doctor Who is. Okay. And the cool thing is that I have now gone on to actually do license work for BBC, BBC really? America, and Penguin wow. UK for Doctor Who, which is really awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Is it this? That, yeah, that's the show yeah. music. Oh. So, and that's also one of my favorite pieces okay. of music uh, that they did for is the show. Is this the intro? Oh, no. Uh, I Am The Doctor is when Matt Smith is changing no more of this raggedy doctor stuff. Okay. And it's that music. Okay. That's that piece. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Because that was actually the first doctor to actually have an intro piece just to himself. Oh. Nine and ten share the same music that's as nice. the doctor. He was the first one to get his own. And since then, they've all had their own oh, music. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah. Matt Smith is actually my favorite doctor, which everyone says David Tennant, but for me it's Matt he's Smith. He's the only, he's one of the few I have not met. And I mean, I'm talking for, I've met every classic doctor that's still alive, okay. except for Baker. Um, but yeah, it's like I've met most of everybody that worked on the classic stuff and the new goose stuff now. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Very cool. Now yeah. a little bit of a fan here. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, I'm Davy. 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 Yep, that's how everybody knows me. Davy. No, yeah, no last name, no nothing. I'm like Prince of Madonna now. Everybody knows me just by the last name. It's nice um, to 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 feel this environment and to be part of it. It's over a thousand uh, people interested in this exhibition. It took place in the largest convention center in Wilmington, and. Yes, it was full of people, it was well organized, there were separate showrooms, um, different opportunities to play games, uh, and then you can see mother in one costume, daughter in another costume, like the whole family wearing their favorite costumes. It's really awesome. Um, and then I tend to travel like around a lot. Okay. So I was last at KatsuCon in National Harbor in Maryland. Wow. Which is a big con. It's kind of overrated, but it's super fun because there's a lot of people and it's mostly cosplay based. Cool. Um, and then there's just a lot of other conventions just up the East Coast that I try and go to with friends. Uh, nice. Bunch of That's really awesome. Well, I, I like your outfit. I can tell you put a lot of work into it. It looks yes. great. Did you make it yourself? What? Did you make your outfit yourself? I did not make the outfit, but I did style the wig and a lot of like other stuff. Great. Oh. I've kind of added my own touch to it. The San Diego Comic Con International. Uh, this this event is the biggest in the United States, and it started in 1970s. It's a standard bearer for U.S. Comic Cons. Largest convention of its kind in the world. I walk, walked around in my costume and um, do you think people recognize me? I don't know. Ryan had his uh, costume which was Legends of the Hidden Temple. 
people recognized him. Uh, it was awesome. My friend Ryan's shirt, people recognize. They know it's a game from the 90s, but nobody recognized my shirt. Nobody, nobody knew who I was, that I was Ukrainian. Comic Con, actually, also, there was a convention in Ukraine, in the capital. Few we a few months before the full-scale invasion in September, early September. And one of the co-founders of Comic-Con actually went to war and now on the webpage you can see that they are raising uh, funds for, for drones, for the front lines, for his brigade. So this is how life turned for us. And I see, I see there's another event that will take place uh, in this September. Yes, I was happy to share this event with Wilmingtonians. Also, let me know if you are in these types, this type of convention, if you like this attraction to support Ukraine. Contact your politicians, contact Mike Johnson uh, for him to put the bill on the floor. So, of this guy who likes to go to Japan. Yes. yes. Okay, so the vocab for this week, video game in Ukrainian is videohra, videohra, convention, konvencia, konvencia, or you can say zjist, zjist, it's like gathering, people are gathering. Uh, thank you for watching this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel.